Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Prussia campaign here in EU4. We are uh, kind of in a pickle. I've been over here hunting down a bunch of the French while uh, my homelands have been getting walloped. So um, we're going to send these guys back home. And uh, I might as well send these guys home to follow them. But, and this is a big but... Let's see if we can march right past this fort, which we definitely are doing right now, and then uh, kill this 24 stack. And there we go. Beautiful. So, let's get these guys off my homelands. I'm going to end up needing to siege back some of these forts. I'm going to have this 14 stack come over and uh, siege down the Wargle, because that's going to give us the war score we need to probably peace out, honestly. This is Savoy. So this is in a different war. Savoy is the one that's full annexing me. So, you guys... I can just have them give up them, but that's not gonna work. I think... For the sake of uh, just making things happen, let's just... See if we can financially hurt them. That's fine. Because that frees up a lot of this. So now we just need to take this Bessia or whatever. I just need to take Berlin back. Global trade is here. Very good. I should be able to get it pretty quick. Nice thing about playing tall. So we're just chilling here. It is grassland, so I need to be aware. Livonian separatists. Yeah, I don't want separatists. That's a problem. So let's come on down here and siege him down. The sooner we siege him down, the better. Our coalition is probably going to end up growing again. Yeah, it's very close, actually. We'll see. If the coalition decides to uh, pick back up, I guess I can't be too, uh, too upset about it. So they have a one-star general. Not a wipe, definitely, but uh, still pretty good. Reap administrative benefits. Do we need administrative benefits? Well, I mean, absolutism is nice, right? Let's go with that. Sounds good. There we go. We've taken his capital here. Uh, now we need to get all these turds out of the war. So let's do that. Switzerland will want out here as soon as we get on his capital. Let's siege down these two provinces here. That should coax him out of the war. Base production is key late game. Always go for base production. get Switzerland out of here. Come on. 50%. Why? I just don't get it. I literally do not win high percentage sieges. It doesn't happen. I just don't win them. Let's break your alliances with them. Give me your money. All your money. There we go. Kill off that army. Come over here. Get the other half down here in Cuneo. go we'll take this tech whenever we can somehow these assholes are really making such good progress on my capital they took it 21 percent chance but you know damn well i'm gonna sit here on every single one that i try to do get out of here you absolute turd so annoying That's full Occupy, and we're going to end up needing to. Need to take my capital back. Negative 57%. Max that on admin. 
you will 100% give these two provinces to Dauphine. That is it. Beautiful. I think I'm going to end up needing to also subsidize him as well. And I gladly will. I mean, that's not a problem at all. No, not a gift. Let's send him subsidies. Send him like three ducats a month as well for forever. And um, let's head on up and take care of these rebels for our uh, hopeless vassal down here. Incapable. Nuremberg has entered a coalition. And it resumes. Alright. Yes. Let's improve with Castile. Allied to rival. Who's your rival? England? Or Britain? Disputed succession in Austria. Fat chance. I'll take it. We have innovative ideas. Get a couple of these guys going. That way, once uh, the age happens, we can get our age, age objectives tipped through pretty quickly here. Making good money. Also, no matter what you think, Stetten is a good capital. And I will fight to the death. The death, I say. We definitely can afford some more men as well, so... We'll take it. It's fine. Two, a two stack. Like, what is up with these random tiny little stacks? Come on, baby. There we go. Volhinian Separatists now, too. Interesting. Let's have you guys handle all of this as well. Beautiful. How are we looking on this stuff? Great. We are not even close to our governing capacity. We're doing fine. We're doing just fine. We're going to need to attack these guys pretty soon here. So... Defend the Empire. Oh yeah, that's not going to happen. Maybe. Eh, maybe it could happen. I don't know. It's a tough one. Renovate Berlin. At least 25 development. Church. And a workshop. Well, I can do that. What does that give us? The matter of Berlin. Ah, that might move our capital back if it's not there again. Junker supremacy. So somebody had actually mentioned this, and I, I, I didn't... Uh, where's it at here? Militarization of state, all powers cost. I don't really want that, though. It doesn't seem good. But I do need to make sure that they are um, influential. And I can even give them... A little bit of crown land, but that doesn't make them influential. Mill advisor cost, that's fine. And then... Supremacy over the crown I don't want. Younger supremacy does not seem useful though. I'm going to have to do it if I want to give them, um, hmm, increased land ownership. So let's get them up. So they need 5% more. Let's just do right a council. Okay. So we got that one. 
army tradition decay until the end of the game. Which gives us more militarization of the state, so that means we can even go over our limit, which is not bad. Um, we're going to end up needing to pull a bunch of them, but uh, that's fine. So this one, we still need this cathedral over here in Marienburg, so we need to do that. Let's uh, do that. Oh, that's easy money. Let's actually do that. <laughs> I'll just take the land and then immediately give it back. So let's get one more in um, like Krausland or whatever. Straussland. Let's build a church in uh, Marienburg. We have one in Berlin already, and we just need to build a uh, thing over here in Berlin as well. A workshop, which I can do no problem. Let's uh, get rid of the regimental camp. Hope I don't regret built doing that. Okay, very good. We need a workshop, and uh, that will allow us to um, get that sorted out here. Let's uh, test all of these points. Oh yeah, we really do need to build a more more of an army as well. So let's build these guys up to the four summit. And we'll build as many cannons as we can as we go. Having a big strong army isn't going to be a bad thing, that's for sure. Come in here. Innovativeness for uh, lots of money? No, don't think so. Good. Production efficiency sounds good to me. Free money sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... So, first off, let's state this up. Let's build that. Then... Let's build this, this, and then in a couple months we'll be able to build them over here as well. This is important. Beautiful. Now we get the the matter of Berlin. Uh, local construction cost, dev cost, okay, that's not useful. Anyways, we've got army reforms, which gives us, uh, have a lot of stuff. Prussian military reform, 20 militarization, 100 mil points, 5 army professionalism, and 20 army tradition. So we are pretty much already maxed out, so that's not necessarily super useful, but an army with a state. 100% army professionalism, so we can do that. It's going to take some time, but we can do that. Um, we need to get more men drilling, though. Let's have these guys all group up over here and get them drilling. All three of our armies need to be drilling. Beautiful. This will go up. The DAC war. Yeah, that's no good for you. So Austria is having a disputed succession. Doesn't affect me, but it could. Our trade power is going to be going up here. As soon as we finish these buildings, it will go up even more in our uh, home node of Lubeck here. It's not bad, though. We are doing pretty good here. Half off admin guy. Say no more. Absolutely glorious. Boys, we are looking good. We are looking good. We are an army with a state. I don't care about you. Are we going to win? No, we won't actually. Hmm. Uh, it's important. It is important that we win. Maybe I do need to ally you again. 
We're over our limit, but I suppose that's probably okay. As long as we have a couple people voting for us, we're good. The forts are our strengths? Absolutely not. If you do siege ability, or if you do defensiveness over siege ability, you're a beta male. Okay, so let's have you guys. I will just bestow Imperial Grace on some people, because that's easy. And I don't really care if we pass any more reforms. I just want the benefits of being the Emperor. Same with you guys. How very novel. Sounds good. Onspock is even my... They're even my blood. They're von Hohenzollern. Let's uh, improve relations with you. Very good. Half off Commandant. We already have a half off Commandant. We're doing fine. Stetten, 19 base tax. Sounds good. Let's do some uh, development over here as well. Might as well, right? Let's get it up to 50. Might as well. There's no reason not to. Edict of Potsdam. Religious unity of 100%. And uh, reform is enabled. Um, culture conversion cost and missionary strength. Very cool. The Edict of Potsdam gives us a bunch of base manpower and tax for two stab. Uh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, I'll just take the 200 admin. Goodness gracious. That sounds very good. Uh, and then we need Faith's Bastion, which is morale of armies. Looks like we're going to war with Russia, boys. Let's go. Um, and then we need to... So we need this. I need to beat up on Oldenburg. But we have a truce with them for now. They won't join the coalition once it's over. Ah, eh, maybe they will. No, they won't because we have positive relations with them. Well, let's see here. Let's get go to the yearly tick so we don't uh, lose relations with our electors here. Who are you guys allied to? Sweden. So they have rebels, or at least they did. Golden era for... Aragon and France. Very good. Let's pull you guys back. If we were to attack, it would be Sweden, Ryzen, and Zaporozhia. No problem at all. Let's have you guys come on over here. And have our second army come over here. Nope. There we go. I'm gonna show, uh, show Russia how we do it here. He's got a claim there. That's what we want. Ideally, Ottomans would join. They have a lot of debt. Yeah. So Croatia has been eating a bunch of people. Just annex Serbia. Manpower is looking good. Latgalia it is. Let's, uh, let's do it. Now, Sweden has 25 light ships, so let's have you guys go home. And stay home. Sweden's naval supremacy is not to be, uh, taken lightly. So, Ryzen, as far as I know... Is an ally, correct? Yes, please. I will gladly pay for the uh, institution. Appreciate you. So we got some men over here. 
let's see here. Let's um detach one guy. Cheeky. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> You'd like to see that happen, huh? So, lost a Provence. Claim on a province. Feels bad. So we can come up here, beat up on them. There's uh, some Russians over here. They spent some mill points on that. Let's uh, catch these good boys over here. Oh my gosh. That was like a two-day battle. Wow. Okay. Um, I will not complain about that. So this, we just need to keep the Swedes out. And the Swedes won't be able to do anything because they have to go through... Mm, actually, they can make, march directly on my fort. Let's build some spy network on them. As well as them. We're going to have to have these guys come on up to uh, Novgorod. We need to seed down as much of this as possible. Uh, Dauphine, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Hopefully this is a separate battle. Very good. That's what I wanted. That way I could stack wipe them. And just like that, 100 Russians. It's not bad at all. Most of my men have been lost to attrition, which is fine. Doesn't bother me. Let's see here. Do I have something on defensiveness? Let's put you guys on trade. Same with you guys. Trade and then trade. Beautiful. And let's kill off these Swedes here. Very easy. good and we're just gonna do a swinging door maneuver here up into Stockholm so a bunch of uh, truces are up so we have to be aware we're probably gonna get another coalition it's not gonna be nearly as big a lot of these guys can't even join we'll see Austria joined that's kind of expected I'll Absolutely whoop Austria. Won the Siege of Viborg. I bet he's going to want to join. Just kidding, he can't. <laughs> Thuringia, Frankfurt, Hungary. Still haven't seen anything that uh, makes me nervous yet, so we're good. That makes me a little nervous. A bunch of attrition, but... Probably didn't need to send the whole army up, but, you know, when in Rome, right? That's what they say, at least. Okay, so we'll take half of you guys there and then the other half over here. It is, after all, a level one fort with uh, no... Um, no extra fort levels on it. The fall of VJ. And uh, Russia's over here sieging back his stuff. We literally took that in one siege tick, I believe. So, uh, Sweden. Yeah, he took Moscow back. It's understandable. Um, let's see here. Yeah, our siege ticks are 15 days. That is incredible. 50 mil points. Faux free. And I'm going to immediately turn right around and spend it all on, uh, more manpower for me. Absolutely. This is delicious. We'll be able to piece Sweden out here in a moment. Absolutism is here. Do we have an abs absolutism benefit? We do not. I was thinking we did. No matter. Let's pull you back and then uh, let's actually pull you back as well. Sweden, you will give me your trade. That's all I really want from you. Smolensk has fallen. I honestly can't believe how good our siege ability is. Like, that's the most impressive thing about all this. Sure. We'll be able to march across the straits here after we peace out um, 
Sweden. So that's a good thing. Took his fort. Very good. After we take these couple of provinces, we should be able to uh, make this a thing. Let's have you guys march over here. Sweden is chilling on my capital somehow. Sweden. You're gonna want out, I promise, man. I don't know how this is like a thing that you're holding out for. Okay. I guess we have to march around again. It's no big deal. Once we get them off the capital, we should be able to piece them out. Very good. Sweden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So annoying. All right, well, we'll wrap this war up in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please show your support. Leave a like and subscribe. Ding the bell. It'll send you a notification when we upload. If you want to check out the Discord or support us on our Patreon, the links are in the description below. And with that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.